Then departed Barnabas to Tarsus mm -hmm. for to seek Saul. And when he had found him, yes. he brought him unto Antioch. Uh -huh. And it came to pass mm -hmm. that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church. A whole year, the disciples. The disciples gathered themselves together in the church and taught much people. A whole year. You know, whatever you do, people are watching you. And even when you are talking about a whole year, of course, I mean, it's, it's, it's long a time. Yes? And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. Now, they were called Christians first in Antioch, the disciples. Because a whole year, they were there in the church. They were teaching like Christ. They were admonishing people like Jesus Christ. And where they need be, they rebuked exactly like Jesus Christ rebuked. So it, they looked at them and they knew that these ones, they have been with Christ and they were behaving exactly like Christ. That was why they said, these are Christ-like. And Christ-like was what is known as Christian. Praise the name of the Lord. These are things that are documented in the Bible. So please note them. They are very, very important. There is no other interpretation except this. So that's why, like I mentioned on Sunday, I think we were doing a prayer. Was it Sunday or VG? I said some of you, they call you pastors. Not because we have been ordained pastors. They call you prophets in some groups. They say, ah, he's a prophet. He's a prophetess. Even when Babaladra has not actually dropped oil upon your head. Why? Because of the way you behave. Like I told us, I was in one of the branches of the bank that I used. And one of our brothers here happened to be in that branch. And, and when I got there, as I was going out, out and it was seeing me off and all that, that everybody was, was, I don't know whether they have discussed me or whatever, but I had a statement. Ah, that, that man is our pastor here. And we have not ordained him pastor here. He's not even one of the people that we asked to come and do something on this altar. But he was identified there as their own pastor because of what he is doing there. So that was exactly what happened to the disciples. So they were called first Christians in Antioch. So that means that what you do can also attract names unto you. They say that one is a stubborn individual. They say he's a backbiter. Because of his action, because of her action, they say, it's not, ah, don't go to it. So, and so on and so forth. Then what ailment you carry or your infirmity can also attract name unto you. Blind person. They call a man blind Batman. Praise God. You are not shouting hallelujah very well. But tonight, because God has brought this unto us, that means that he knows that names are expected to change. You see, you can't bring old name from the old year to new year and you think you are going to get something better than old year. So that means that you are just like an old dad that is receiving new wine. You know there's going to be trouble. It will break. So you need new to receive new. And that's why God has brought it here. And I know tonight, we are going to pray for about five minutes. Your names will change in the name of Jesus. I thought you would shout louder than that. I thought you would shout louder than that. Like what Oga read to us, Isaiah chapter 62. For God, he is ready. 
for him is ready because he knows we need it. It's ready. For God, he has proclaimed it. And that's why it's documented in the word of the Lord. Isaiah 62, inclusive. That's why I said it. He said, no, forsaken is not your name. Forsaken is not your name. Is that what Behula is your name? He has said it. He has said it. So for everyone who is ready, you need to drop yours. It's not bringing your own on that. No. You drop it. You can't bring forsaken together and say you are putting it under Behula. It will not work. You drop me forsaken. Me rejected, me a disappointment individual, a bunch of disappointment, me a failure. You say, No, they will seek for me. Good things will find me out. Somebody did not know that that is a name. Read that. I say, Yes, I Did I not hold my pee? Yes. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest. Uh -huh. And to the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness. Yes. And the salvation thereof as a land that burneth. Yes. And the Gentiles shall see the righteousness. Yes. And all the kings thy glory. Uh -huh. And thou shalt be called by a new name. Thou shalt be called by a new name. Which the mouth of the Lord shall The name. mouth of the Lord. I wrote something here. This thing we are discussing tonight is not individual kind of a thing. I don't want to say the umpire, but if you agree, the umpire or the one to do is, is God. Look, I may look at you and say, this is a very nice individual. Because I am limited, I can only see what God wants me to see. But now we are told that the one to do it is God Almighty. So you cannot hide. Even if we have placed you so high in this assembly, and you know that you are not there, so tonight you must. Otherwise, it's going to be an opportunity for you and you misuse it. You will not misuse it in the name of Jesus. You didn't charge your amen very well. I'd like you to read that portion again. 62 verse, what's that? Verse 1. Verse 1. For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace. Uh -huh. And for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest. Uh -huh. Until the righteousness I have go forth as right. Verse number 2. And the Gentiles the shall, Gentiles see, shall see your righteousness. Eh? And not the kings thy glory. All kings your glory. And thou shalt be called by and a just new like name. the teacher said, is that your righteousness? Your righteousness. Then God shall call you which the mouth by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. Uh -huh. thou, shalt also be, thou shalt also be a crown of glory. In the a hand crown of glory in the hand of the Lord. And a royal diadem, a royal diadem in, the in the hand of your God. God. Thou yes. shalt no more be termed forsaken. Forsaken is not me. Neither shall thy land any more become desolate. Desolate is no more me. I don't have it as my name any longer. But thou shalt be called Exiba. Exiba. And thy land Behula. For the Lord delighted in thee. Yes. And thy life shall be married. And the Lord will make it happen to you in the name of Jesus. So the Lord is ready. He has put it there. So if he's bringing this teaching to us, he's just making us to come and say, yes. Yes. Are you ready? So it's not, it's not a question of a pastor knows me as a, yes, I may know you. My judgment may be wrong. It may be wrong. But that of God, who is going to handle it, cannot be wrong. So that means that it's something you need to really carry out very well. I remember some people were talking to me. They said, somebody said, I am a friend to pastor and all that. And what is that person doing? He's using my name to do bad things. Praise the name of the Lord. Somebody who's a fornicator, who is telling the person that he or she wants to fornicate, that person, every person is your close gang. Don't you see the way we talk all the time? What does that mean? That does not change anything. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, it's possible the other one that is jittered eventually may think that pastor is like this individual. What does it matter? But my God knows. Praise God. So it's not, it's not. I'm close to No, that's not. God is there. 
is the one to stand and say, you, you are a liar. Just like Oga said, if you are a liar, you know it. If you are becoming to lie from one point to another, and people are seeing you very well, you are a liar. Liar is a liar. I may not know you as a liar. But God knows you as what? As a liar. I pray tonight, the new name that is meant for you, you will not miss it in the name of Jesus. You didn't, you didn't shout your amen very well. You didn't shout your amen very well. You didn't shout your amen very well. I think I will have to stop like this. The Bible says by their fruit, we shall know them. That are fruit. And you know the fruit, just like God was trying to talk to us about it just now. The fruit, the fruit of the spirit, the fruit of the flesh. So they begin to manifest. The one that manifested in Antioch for a whole year until the disciples made people to call them Christians. So what is it that is manifesting in you? When they see you and say, ah, you, Kyle. You say that man, oh, glory be to God in his life. You say that woman, ah, I got in that church and I saw him handling the microphone. Ah, my soul. I pray your name, what you are, will not be a thing that will be like a blemish unto God Almighty in the name of Jesus. Shout your amen one more time. So, some other time, I'm going to come back with us because we need to learn much about this. Name is very good. A good name is better than silver and gold. A good name. A good name. You must aspire for it. Even if you look at our forefathers, our forefathers, they don't joke with their names. They can suffer. They can be poor. Whatever happening is happening to them. They, they just, they say, no. I remember some people, they say, look, the name I bear is not my name. It's the name of my forefathers. Like my name now, Allah will tell me, I prefer people calling me Allah Rutobi, not because it's my name directly, but it's the name of my father. If my father has spoiled that name, sincerely, I will hide it somewhere. You will just see, oh, praise the name of the Lord. So, now, that's, 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 that's our parents, who are not even Bible people. They know that the name. Some people say, look, do you know how many names? Me, I am bearing my father's name directly. There are names that are generational names. If you get to some town, I just mention certain names. Oh God. They will say, Are you sure you have a relation a relation tip with that? You say, I have a son there. You say, You it can hear you anything. The other name is also there. They say, You can. Nobody wants to stand by you. So name is very, very important. Name, name is important. Is important. And that's, that's why you bear why you the name of a child of God. God. The Bible the says in John chapter 1, verse 20, as, as many as believe in him, he gives them power to become son of God. Why? Your name would change. You are not son of Satan any longer. You are son of God. Even when you write your name and you don't put Jesus there, it's already there. You say, alone to be Jesus Christ. It's there. I know, I know that, that some, some people, people, when they look at the name, name physically, they change it and all that. Well, that's not what we are talking about. We are talking about spiritual changing of name, spiritual bearing of a new name. I'm a Isaiah, I'm a Samuel, I'm a whatever. And they are nothing but fornicators. So, what are we talking about? So, whatever name you carry must be a genuine one, even in the law. The Lord is ready for you tonight. The Lord, the Lord is ready for you tonight. The Lord, the Lord is ready for you tonight. You know what that man did? Blind Bartimaeus. He cried. Because he knew that what he was carrying was nothing but a blemish. They shouted him down. He said, no, today my name must change. I don't know how many of us are ready. Jacob that God mentioned to us, it was a serious struggle. A whole night fighting. Why? Jacob knew that he was really a supplanter and his name was known as a supplanter. 
You have forgotten Jabez. Jabez knew the name that he was bearing. He knew the meaning of it. He rose. Yes, two verses in the Bible. But it was more than that. It was a serious fight. And the Bible says, the Lord answered his prayer. His name was changed. Your name will change tonight in the name of Jesus. Rise up for your feet. Let us pray. You must be ready. Name. Names. Kai. You are going to lift up your voice. It's only one name. Father, change my name tonight. I, I have been carrying this name for too long. This is a new year. Father, change my name. We first of all pray the prayer. I will give you time to confess. Thank God the word has come. The teacher has taught us. I'm only trying to get us more. But you are going to lift your voice and pray. Father, tonight, change my name. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. The time is not there again. Open your Bible. Say, now, God, change my name. You are not doing as if you are a Jacob of today. How many Bartimaeus do we have in the house? Well, that time we had only one. I don't know whether we are having only one today. How many Jabez? Father, I come before you. Have mercy upon me. Yes, righteousness. Mercy. So that my name will change. You know what you do in silence. What you are doing in silence, you know it. You know who you are. Some people are witchcraft. They are wizards. So open your mouth tonight. Father, change my name tonight. Because this is a new year. Father, I must enjoy the newness of this year. In the name of Jesus, your, your voice I cannot hear. Sincerely speaking. I wish we have additional 30 minutes. Maybe I wouldn't have bothered you to cry out. But because the time is so short, five minutes left. Father, perform operation concerning me. A new operation that will change my name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I come unto you. I say have mercy upon me. I must be a different person. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Let me hear your amen. amen. Some people they don't have they don't have integrity. Why? You say you are going to do something and the next minute you are not doing it. Some people don't count it to be anything. They count it as smart. And they call themselves Christians. Sometimes I cry in my heart. Listen, I have told you. God has helped me. If we are saying five o'clock me and you, or it is as I see you coming in five thirty. I look at you as something will be telling me, Is this a human being? But I have changed, you know. I have changed. On Saturday, the 10 o'clock will come, no problem. And that's why the young ministers, if you come late, some people came late, they came, they came after a break, after the break, the president. I decided not to look at their faces. Because there are faces I will look at and I will change my mind. They stood there. I was writing what I was writing. We left them outside. Some of your children, they didn't enter. You better, when you get to ask them, I hope you, we lay hand on some people. We didn't lay hand on them. Because they were outside. And you, know, you better ask them. They refused to go. I said they should go. Next time you know what I'm going to do? I will send them out by fire and by force. As a minister, you must have your word. Credibility. I pray God will help you tonight in the name of Jesus. So you are going to confess your sin. You are going to ask God, what are the things that you are doing? Hello, you are being shackled. Some people, they tell lies. They come to the presence of the pastor, they tell lies. I was telling somebody one day, I said, do you know that? You tell, some of you, you can tell lies in the presence of the pastor. The pastor
pastor will know that you are telling lies. But he will keep quiet. Just because he doesn't want to. He wants you to feel as if your prayer has been answered. So you are going to confess tonight. Father, help me. Everywhere. Everywhere. Father, help me. And I want you to be specific now. What are the things that you are doing? What are the things that you have done before? There's no time here again. Like I said, just open your mouth. One, two minutes. I know God is ready. God is ready for me. God is ready for you. This year is a very fantastic year. Me and you must not end it anyhow. Just confess. Confess. Somebody came to me, meetings after meeting. I laughed. And that person was complaining. I said, why do you complain? She be the time you have been enjoying it, you didn't come to me. Have you ever seen me there before? So open your mouth and pray. God help me in the name of Jesus. Forgive me. Allah Rabbi, Allah Rabbi, me. You can't get a new name if you are still carrying your old attitude, which is not of God. In the video, we are talking about fresh beginning. And in the service, we are talking about something. You see, today we are talking about new name. They all go together. I am, I am, I am a liar. Say it to God. I don't know what integrity is. I will say one thing and I will go and do another one. Help me, O Lord. For the Keto, speak to God. He's ready because he's a merciful God. He's faithful. Pray. And as you pray, the Lord will answer in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Finally, we are going to pray for all the ministers for today. Starting from our God that taught us.